Hi friends and family and YouTube subscribers. I just want to let you know I'm doing CC loop on Dashy today. Look at him. Oh my word, huh? Yeah, Dashy. Feels so good. So people who have questions about the sissy loop, or the CC loop as vets call it, um, it's basically electromagnetic device that sends pulses to the nerves and it basically um, helps stop the pain. So it helps heal and it helps stop the pain. So if you need any advice and you would like to get one, talk with your vet, um, your vet hospital, neurologist or anything like that. Some people say, well, I don't know if it works, but you can't use it all the time because you don't want to overstimulate the nerves. That's what I've learned. It's um, it's a basically it's a huge journey for you with your animal. So just take your time and um, know that it's just helping you and helping them. You know, and it, it's 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 another outlet to help you with this. You know, with IVDD and their recovery. So. You just take one day at a time. You just keep going. You keep persevering. And um, no matter what in life, you just keep going. And that's how it is. So here's this little dude. See, I'm getting my legs done. We'll show you how we do it. Ooh. Get your wig in there. Okay. Basically like this. And you can leave it on a pit. You can leave it on for like a period of time because um, it's only good for like 15 sec or fifteen minutes and that'll shut down. You Like I said, you don't want to overly do it, but as time goes on and things progress or whatever, you might even need um, cold laser therapy, which we also have done, and also uh, water therapy. You could put them in a, you know, in a pool, a little kiddie pool outside you can put them in your bathtub and have like a little ginger lead or some kind of harness that holds up their butt if they can't walk. Since Dashy was a stage five with no DPS, no feeling in the back, um, he only had 20% most likely that he was going to be able to walk again. So he's doing pretty awesome and we're all really proud of him and uh, that's all you can do. You know, you do what you can do and you keep going. It's not the end. It's a pause. And, um, you know, for all those people who have gone through it with their animals, uh, dogs and cats, cats can get it too. You know, I sympathize with you and I empathize and I know how hard it is. I've spent many sleepless nights, um, sleep, even sleeping on the floor next to my dog, making sure he's okay. And... Dashy just keeps pushing. He's so stubborn. I told my husband how, you know, he's so stubborn. He's going to make it through all this no matter what. So you, if your dog has a little bit of that and tenacity, you know, they're going to keep going. And you have to keep a positive attitude even when you feel those down days because you think, well, you know, what could happen? Try not to think of those days. Try to get through them the best you can and keep going. And know that your little buddy, you know, your little pup, they're just trying the best they can, too. So I just want to get on here and show you. We've showed you guys before. But we wanted to have a little talk about all of it. There we go, baby. There we go. And I'm going to keep it on for about 12 more minutes. And probably flip him on his other side in a little bit and, you know, do his left side and just be very cautionary. Because I massage his back, his hind legs and his front legs, but I'm very careful with his back. Because the way dachshunds' backs are, they're long, but they, they have that curve. So as time goes on and if they have too much weight on him, which he is on a diet he's doing so good he's lost a lot of weight he's mostly fur but um you know that can affect their spine too so you want to keep them on a good 
you know, regimen. You want to keep them on some good food. Dashi does take, um, he's on a special sa a salmon diet because he has a sensitive stomach. He was born with a, a hernia. And um, me and him have that in common. And uh, so he's just, um, you know, he's on that special diet and he eats fruits and vegetables. And he has snacks too and pumpkin treats. I make them and um, before my surgery, I have to get a surgery on my foot, both my feet. And, um, first is my right, then my left after my right's healed. But before my surgery, I'm going to take some more videos and I'm going to make some cookies for him. His pumpkin treats, his favorite cookies. And that helps with his tummy and helps him go potty and has lots of vitamins with pumpkin in it. I'm going to take a video of that and him of his physical therapy a little bit more. And I'll be back soon. All right, here we go, puppy. There she, I know you, they want to see your pretty face. Here's your pretty face. <laughs> All right, guys, please do me a favor and please push the like button, share and subscribe and comment if you like. Please keep it positive and kind. No hate in the comments. Thanks a lot. All right, love you guys. We love you. Bye-bye. Say bye. We love you. Come back soon. And we're rooting for all you and your puppies and your kitties, too. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.